hello it's Zara and I'm gonna just share real quick some of the items that I ordered that were really um, suggestions by Tracy Moreau now she's the woman who I've been working on her little patterns that I ordered I got some e patterns by Tracy Moreau I did these um, ATC's but they were actually meant to go on these little phone stands that I'm gonna share and she also, like most decorative artists in the beginning of their pattern packet, have a list of supplies that they use. So I'm looking to get some of the DecoArt fluid acrylics as well, but I haven't ordered those yet. But what I did get was some brushes, and I did get her um, the black jelly pen, the gel roll pen that she suggested, and also the phone stand. So let me share. Um... The brushes first so I ordered only four of them I have a lot of brushes so actually I got five because I got um, her stencil brush this was just something I thought I'd try I actually just stencil with uh, dollar store makeup sponges right Tracy actually shows see here she does it a little more purposeful when I'm stenciling I'm generally just like my stencils are a mess they have like I don't clean them as often so she definitely uses stencils as a tool that she takes care of um so you know that being said my stencils are a mess but I did get this stencil brush now she designed this it's Tracy Moreau um it's a nice brush really I think this is the large but see how she uses this Harlequin is in the background of that for instance and I know that she also has a search she likes the stencil like this like a little bit of a scrubby way like that instead of pouncing it on so I'm looking forward to trying that there's also a, a unique way that she had the brush is generally just a flat stubby stencil brush but hers has like layers she's made this little step up and then it's even like kind of beveled in there too or I don't know it has a definite uh, structure to it so I'm looking forward to using that and that was um I got these from the brush guys I can put the links in the description box but Tracy puts the links actually no I, I, I get this stuff from her Facebook page that's where I get it like where you can order it no, it says creative art lifestyle. This says decoart.com, thebrushguys.com, stampendous for the stamp, um, josonia.com. So yeah, I don't think my printer printed the whole word, but um, my ink was running out. That's why, I, and it's like, see my pictures? They're not coming out good. Um, but yeah, so she does list that on her pattern packets. This brush was only $3.41 it's a nice brush so I like that so then the only other brushes I got I got two dynasty um, these are called black gold dynasty I got a number four filbert which is just really good for making one stroke leaves and then this is a 10 slash um, zero I I thought it was a script liner but it's just a liner and it's really stubby so I want one that's longer. I'll have to make sure I get, because I use this one and it's kind of beat up. This is a script liner, so it's a little longer bristle. Anyway, I got those two to try, but then these were the ones that I really wanted to try. These are faux squirrel. So the hairs, I guess, are faux squirrel, and I'm really looking forward to trying. They feel really great. I got a half inch angle brush, which is my go-to for floating. And, um, yeah, it feels really good. Like, this is my go-to. It's really messed up. American Painter, 5 eighths inch. But what I'm liking is, as I compare these, it's a tall bristle, too. Some angle brushes can be really stubby. I like the length of the bristles as well because it just holds more water. And this actually is really, it has some width to it as well, like a lot of hairs. So I'm excited to try that. And then this one is called a rigger, and I've never had a rigger before. This is the number two rigger, but it's on her um, supply list. So I thought, well, I'll try a rigger, and I, I think it's just what she uses for line work. So maybe I don't need the script liner. Let me, I'm going to just dip it in my water and see what it, 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It seems much thicker at the base and then it goes up to a nice point. So I'm looking forward to trying those. Um, okay, so that's all I got for brushes. But if you guys want to start painting, it's good to, to get some good brushes. Like I have a lot of beat up brushes that I use for mixed media, but I want, if I'm going to start doing decorative painting again, which I'm going to finish these today, I think I'm going to film that. I also ordered the phone stands. Look, these are, can you see? Oh, so they're this big. They're very simple. This is uh, from, what did I say it was called? I have it here somewhere. Creative Art Lifestyle. Creative Arts Lifestyle. And they were about $8.42 each. I got two of these. Um, they come like this. So it's a little kit. Um, two of these like filigreed ones up here. What do they call them? Flourish. The Flourish. And one of this, which is, this is reversible. So basically you could put a design on each side. Like you like, have a Christmas side and like a summer side. Like you're, you know, seasonally, whatever. You could do four seasons if you bought two of these. You could have spring, summer, fall, winter. Anywho, um, but I want to paint these up. So I got two of these and one of them. Anyway, so but they're awesome. They're they're really well made. So basically, just put the legs through the slit, and then there's these two little other bits that you stick in there. And my phone is right here. I have like a, a big iPhone. This is um I think it's the iPhone 8 uh plus, right? Because it's the bigger one. So it fits on there. See look. And it's definitely, I, you know what else they have is, uh, which I might want to try too, um, a tablet stand. Sorry about that, my brain. So they have the same thing, but it's a tablet stand, so it's a bit bigger. And I think they have cook, cookbook stands, stuff like that. So anywho, um, I'll put the, the link in the description box. And then the last thing I bought was this Uniball Signo pens. And I got these from Amazon. I forget how much it was for a pack of 10. I don't think it was that much, but you figure if it was 20 bucks, it's two bucks a pen. I don't think that's bad. And I put some of these in my Happy Mail. But I love the Uniball Vision, which I also ordered from Amazon. This is 0.7 millimeters. This is 0.38 millimeters. So this is a much finer, here it is. This is the one that Tracy suggested. Uniball Signo DX 0.38. And this is also a gel ink. It says, it's all in Japanese. So it doesn't say much on here. Yeah, it really doesn't. Oh, it says right here. Uniball Signo gel ink pen black pack of 10. It's all in Japanese. And then I also have the food ball here because I was just going to do a um, comparison. This is all in Japanese as well. It's a 1.5. So this is a much thicker um, size line. So if I zoom in, here's the food ball. It's a nice black line though. That's what I love about the food ball. That's nice and thick and black. Then mine, which is the, oops, the Uniball Vision. Has like a medium, but it's nice and black too. And then this is the one that Tracy likes. This is a super fine point. The Signo DX, Uniball Signo .38. Look at that. So it's a much finer point. I wrote Matt a letter with this one. It was really nice to write like just a, a handwritten note. It doesn't seem um, too thick, the line. So anywho, um, that's the difference there. But it's it's all permanent ink. This is waterproof, fade proof. It, I thought it said fade proof on here. The food ball, let's see what that, if that says anything. This is pigment ink and it says water and fade proof. So let me just, yeah, nothing smudging. 
Anywho, all right, let me go back up. So that is what I got. So I'm ready to go. I have some tracing paper out here. I'm going to trace some designs on here. I started tracing. This is what's going to go on this. So, see, it's right here. So this is already, this is the one I did here. I'm going to do, I'll probably do these, but this is going to go on here. So pretty. I love the colors. I can't wait to do that again. I won't do it on camera because um, I already did it. I did a previous video when I did the ATCs. I just shrunk the patterns down to do ATCs. This is the one I'm going to do. This is the Dragonfly Dreams or something. Dragonfly Inspiration. And that one goes on here. So I am going to trace this out. Looks like it's a little off. I could see the bottom of the wing through here, so I'll just move it down. All right, you guys. Um, it's a beautiful day today, and I need to get our, um, let's see, it's already April 21st. Holy cow. I got to get our April art journal page done. Um, got to come up with something that I want to do for that. All right, you guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.